Good morning, and happy Canada Day. Our opening hymn is number 594, O God of All the Many Lands, number 594. We'll sing verses 1 and 2. Oh, I'm sorry, it's in the Catholic Book of Worship. And we'll sing verse 3 at the end of Mass. But 1 and 2, Catholic Book of Worship, 594. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, for those of you who might not know me, I'm Father Christopher Kulig from the Monastery of Mount Carmel, here to celebrate Canada Day with you at the invitation of Father Rico as I go on a journey of a sabbatical for a year, and will be gone to refresh and renew and hopefully come back. Today we hear Jesus say that we don't really have any place to rest our heads if we truly follow him. But we do have that indelible and mysterious resting place of faith that we bring to the church today. That faith in the kingdom of God where we are reconciled and our sins forgiven. So we can now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to, get, to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose reign extends from sea to sea and whose care endures throughout the ages, hear our prayers for our country. Grant wisdom to those who govern it and respect for human life and dignity to every citizen so that justice may flourish and all peoples live in unity and in peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel and for four, I will not revoke the punishment because they sell the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. They who trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth 
and push the afflicted out of the way. Father and son go into the same girl, so that my holy name is profaned. They lay themselves down beside every altar, on garments taken in pledge, and in the house of their God they drink wine bought with fines they imposed. Yet I destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of cedars, and who as strong as oaks. I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. Also I brought you up out of the land of Egypt and led you forty years in the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite. So I will press you down in your place, just as the cart presses down when it is full of sheaves. Flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not retain their strength, nor shall the mighty save their lives. Those who handle the, the bow shall not stand, and those who are swift of foot shall not save themselves, nor shall those who ride horses save their lives. And those who are stout of heart among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day. The word of the Lord. Remember this, you who never think of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. To the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline and you cast my words behind you. Remember this, you who never think of God. You make friends with a thief when you see one and you keep company with adulterers. You give your mouth free rein for evil and your tongue frames deceit. Remember this, ne never think of God. You sit and speak against your kin. You slander your own mother's child. These things you have done and I have been silent. You thought that I was one just like yourself, but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. Remember this who never think, think of God. Mark this then, you who forget God, or I will tear you apart and there will be no one to deliver. Those who bring thanksgiving as their sacrifice honor me. To those who go the right way, I will show the salvation of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw great crowds around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. A scribe then approached and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. It seems like forever, but I've only been a proud American Canadian for just a little over two years. It was a wonderful ceremony that has 
been the highlight of my 10 years here in Canada, or 10 years at the monastery, 12 years total. I guess in my heart I've always embraced this country and it's nice to be officially a citizen. But I say American Canadian because I grew up in the States, so I understand the States and I kind of see the distinctions between our countries. And I think maybe even more deeply, the variations in the church, not just in America and Canada, but in the whole world. I was blessed to go to World Youth Days in Germany and Australia and experience the worldwide church there to celebrate my friend Father Raul's 25th in Lima, Peru. And I think what those experiences of the whole world instill in my heart is that it is a gift to be in a country like Canada. It's a gift worth celebrating. It is a place that gives us so much. And like any culture, it's a place where the faith takes its own particular form and flavor. Jesus' words, however, tell us that as the Son of Man has no place to rest his head, this is not our final resting place. As Paul would say, our true citizenship is in heaven. And that's how I see the world and its political units in the perspective of God. God doesn't really see countries. I don't think he sees all of his beautiful creation. And so Jesus calls us from that creation to be his disciples and to trust that our good God will be with us wherever we are, wherever our head finds rest, and to be urgent about our faith life. That strange line about the dead bearing the dead seems quite insensitive to those who've lost loved ones. And honestly, it kind of grates against the piety of Jesus' own Jewish practice of burying the dead as a good and holy act. So a strange line says the kingdom has a certain urgency to it. The reality of sin has to be confronted because if it festers, things will fall apart. Our first reading with Amos berating Israel for its unfaithfulness, says that, well, their country will be lost because of their unfaithfulness. And that's how the Israelites saw the Assyrians who captured the north and the Babylonians who captured Judah, that that was God's way of punishing their unfaithfulness, was to take away their land that was so intimately connected with God. With Jesus, we don't see that land specifically as intimately connected with God, we see the whole world. And that punishment of being exiled from one's land and one's place, we understand that exile of sin to be our feeling that we are no longer near or in that kingdom that Jesus preached. And it is that kingdom we have the gift to celebrate at every Eucharist here in our country. So let this Eucharist Fill our hearts with the love of our God and let it also fill us with the appropriate love of our country, a good country that has given us so much, a good place where we can continue to fight against that which is not right and continue to live out our faith. And trusting that wherever we go, we know that we have a home with our Lord wherever we may be, for our citizenship is truly in the heavenly kingdom, experience now and in fullness at the end of our journey here. Gathering our needs and petitions, we bring them before our Father's heavenly throne. For all bishops, may the example of Jesus inspire them in humble service for God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. For nations engaged in conflict, may the Prince of Peace lead them to peaceful resolutions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for unhoused people, may God provide resources for them to find a place to call home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
For all members of this faith community, may our Heavenly Father bless our outreach efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For the souls of the faithful departed, especially for Teresa Spina and Mario Branco, who are especially remembered at this Mass, may they enjoy the eternal peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Please look with kindness upon the petitions we bring you this day through Christ our Lord. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we present our offerings in your sight, O Lord, send down your blessings upon this land and its people, that our voices may always sound your praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your word and your spirit you called all things into being, that your love might be reflected in the vastness of the universe, in the bounty of land and sea, and in the diversity of people who bear your image. Yet your gifts of nature did not exhaust your goodness, for the fullness of your love was only revealed when you sent your only begotten Son for our salvation and poured out your Spirit to gather us into one as your own. Therefore, with the great company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious, remember your servants, Teresa and Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord our God, who never ceased to renew your people with the bread of life, fill us, we pray, with a strong and selfless love that we may ever seek reconciliation and justice among all cultures, races, and nations through Christ our Lord. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits crawl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ, free us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. shapes a future destiny in world and neighborhood. May this fair land, our Canada, your own dominion be. Your people bless abundantly with faith from sea to sea. Have a good day. Happy Canada Day again. <laughs>